This Memorial Day weekend, not the best to break out the grill, but with summer months just ahead, cookouts will be a dime a dozen across the Carolinas. And experts are urging safety around those flames. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood spoke with fire safety leaders with tips to stay safe. Memorial Day kicks off the unofficial start of summer, which means more people will be firing up the grill. While a common task, the National Fire Protection Association says many have found themselves in a dangerous position, with more than 11,000 grill, hibachi, or barbecue-related home fires reported on average annually between 2017 and 2021. Gas grills were involved in an average of roughly 9,000 home fires, with leaks or breaks a primary problem. It's why the association says you should check the gas tank for issues before you use it and keep your grill clean by removing grease or fat buildup also, making sure you sort of have a clear zone around the grill. You don't want it right up against the house. You don't want it under a roof line. You certainly don't want it inside. Sorry if it's raining, but please don't put it in your garage. That's really, really dangerous, both for fire and for uh, carbon monoxide or things that come off of, of that. Charcoal or other solid fuel grills have been the cause of hundreds of structure and outside fires. One tip the association recommends is never adding charcoal fluid or other flammable liquids to a flame. And keep these liquids and other heat sources away from kids as children under five account for thousands of burns each year. Keep kids and pets away from those grills and those hot things um, because they move quickly. This season, they're sending the message to grill safely. They hope you'll check out the latest safety information for your grill before you fire it up. Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte.